We live in a time where the biggest rap artists in the world went number one with the assist of an Instagram comedian. Shiggy's In My Feelings Challenge was an inescapable phenomenon. But what's the price tag for such a moment? Memes and viral challenges can sell products, push songs to platinum status, and even potentially take the creators from phone screens to the silver screen. Even Cardi B first rose to prominence as a beloved personality on social media. So, how do stars of memes, gifts, and viral moments get paid? How much is their creativity and following worth? We've invited a number of internet stars to Complex Con today for a look into their future as self-made creators. This is Complex Conversations. We mean business. The business of viral moments with your host, Speedy Mormon. Welcome everybody to Complex Con 2018. How's everybody doing? Good, good. We excited? Cool, all right, so we've got a super packed lineup for you guys. All right, guys, make some noise for Retro Spectro. Yeah. Go ahead and get ready to head out because my Uber is here. And remember, I told you about the whole LA trip and everything. Uh, Complex count. <laughs> I think I'm gonna let you go to LA. You seen your room? Yeah, what are you talking about? My, my room is clean already. But, but you still. My bathroom is clean. But did you take. I already took the trash out. But how was the floors are my was you able to the bushes are trimmed? The grass is cut. My remote is remote's right here. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. Who is Retrospector behind the social media uh profile? I'm a musician. I've been playing drums since about five years old. I wanted to go to college for music my whole life until I got into the whole making videos and creating and stuff like that. And once I started building my own thing, I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep on doing this. And then I just stuck to it. At heart, I'm a musician. And um, that's, that's my first love before anything. Where did the nickname Retrospectro come from? Retrospective Trilogy. And I'm in a, a squad called Lean Squad. We all make videos together. And it's three of us. So that's what Trilogy is. It's basically the retrospective look, like looking back on the story of us three. When somebody asks you what you do, how do you even describe it? I describe it as um, marketing. Um, and we create. We, we create. We're visionaries. Like you just have a thought in your head and you're, you're creative and you just your thoughts are just rushing. That's the first thing that comes to my mind. So it's just having that kind of energy and that kind of, that kind of flow just to move around. Do you remember the first dollar that you ever made off of doing this? I remember the first dollar I made and I was charging way below that dollar. So I wasn't aware of that. And when they gave me that number, I was like, okay, we can take this further. And then once I realized, okay, if I keep doing this enough and I put it all together, I don't I wouldn't necessarily need this nine to five anymore. Right, what was that nine to five that you had at the time? Target. I hated it so much, I'm not gonna even sit here and make it In front, like it. just Yeah, just yeah, yeah bug, I, just, I didn't like honest. it, I was a cashier, you know what I mean? I'm just boop, boop. Be honest, did you ever just not scan something and throw it in the bag just to help somebody out? Nah, <laughs> I, mean, I ain't gonna lose my job. Okay. I need to get a haircut and I was in high school trying to get a haircut and pay my phone bill. Nah, so. I feel that. All right, Retrospectro, I appreciate you. Make some noise for this guy I right here. I appreciate you. Hey, what's up? Hello. Seven. Unbelievable. Her sixth Olympic Games. It's just unfathomable. She was a silver medalist four years ago. Pretty good. And what she does well is she keeps her body open on the landing. You're from Michigan, yeah? Your grandpa's Michigan. What is it like growing up in a place like Michigan? At first, it was good because I was the only one there doing what I was doing, so it was easy to get noticed by, you know, larger um, brands. But after a while, it was just like getting, it's time to move on. Talk to us about the origin of Katie Don, the social handle. Where did that come from? Um, it was a name I got back in high school. It was Katie the Don. Okay. Because, you know, I was... I was macking back in the day. So they always called me Katie the Don, 
<laughs> my name was too long, so I just took the the off and just called it, called myself Katie Don. Got it. And got Katie it. actually is the first um, K H A D I five letters of my first name, which is Khadija. Now, obviously, there's a whole market for it for women, but even on this panel, right, you're the only woman. Do you feel like that marginalizes you at all, or maybe does that work to your benefit? Um, it, it works to my benefit. I'm able to show that women are also funny, just as funny as men. Um, it makes me step my comedy up because it's it's hard to make guys laugh. Like I get criticized all the time by men like oh you're not funny women's not funny and it's cool to be able to merge you know women and males together and be able to do the same type of content and do comedy together now that you're kind of like a business right you make mm -hmm. money off doing this content does the content that you make change at all do you maybe have to tone it down a bit do you have to add this do you have to do that oh definitely i remember i had a deal um uh, it was with a pop company and I said something or did something on Twitter and it was vulgar. And the next day they was like, nah, we don't want to do with her no more. Either they're going to like me for who I am and understand that's the content I do or, you know, it is what it is. Word. All right. I'm sure there's a lot of people in here who want to one day get paid to make Instagram videos or online videos or even appear in stuff. What would be your advice to someone who wants to do what you do? Do it because you love it. Do, do your content because you like it. Don't do it for the likes or what you think other people might like. Because after that, it will get, you will get tired of doing it. And definitely stay, stay consistent. That's number one. Keep doing it. Keep grinding. And don't um, try to compete with somebody else. Just stay true to yourself and to your content. All right, guys. One time for Katie Don, everyone. <laughs> Katie, thank you so much. Okay. Appreciate you. Nothing, you feel me? You fix your own motherfucking shit. Remember that shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 you don't never wait for the own shit, you feel me? You don't wait for them. They take forever, you know what I'm saying? Well, most people in this room probably know you as Boot Gang. Now you go as John Gabbana. What made you want to switch up? When you, like, when you're trying to make a transition, I feel like nobody's really going to take it serious because they're so stuck. On the past. You know what I'm saying? What made you even want to make that transition in the first place? I mean, I've been wanting to make the transition. So it's not like it just came out of nowhere. Now, I feel like your story, unlike everyone else's, is, is a little different. You went through a little more. Why do you think your journey was maybe harder than the next person? I don't think it's harder. You don't think it's harder? No, nah, everybody, life is hard. You know what I'm saying? Life hard, period. <laughs> I just don't complain, but I don't bitch about my shit. You know what I'm saying? I go through my shit every day. You know what I'm saying? I got problems right now. So I haven't even seen my son yet. You know what I'm saying? That shit hurt me to my heart. But it's everybody in this room going through something. And I don't feel like my life is harder than any one of theirs. You know what I'm Because I don't know what they're going through. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, so I just feel like life is hard, period. Sure. I like that. Now, how is, how is John different from Boon Gang? See? I never, I, I never wanted that to happen. But coming from where I come from, I was, I was sleeping in the bathroom stalls. You know what I'm saying? So when it, so I just said fuck it and took a chance. And then I seen, okay, this is what people like. You know what I'm saying? So I did that and I stuck with it because I felt like this is the only thing that could take me from sleeping from where I'm sleeping at. And get some food, some get some clothes on my back. You know what I'm saying? And it got me the exposure I wanted. But it got me to a place I didn't want to be. You feel what me? place was that? It's just, all right, people look, people, when you say boom, you know what I'm saying, people look at me like a, 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 a comedy or something. Like, I never wanted to, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I may be funny, like naturally, but that's not who I want to be. You know what I'm saying? I, I, it's just like, it just, that's just how it happened. You know what I'm saying? So I just, I just took that route. And John, that John is who I really am. You know what I'm saying? The, my, my real personality, the real me, like a real human being. And people don't see that from Boom. And, and John is just, it's like the real me. You know what I'm saying? That, that, like the, the realness that I want, I want the people to see. When you, Cause you see Boom, I mean you hear Boom, you already, you already see an image, oh he a fool, he a nut. You know what I'm saying? You don't really understand that man. You know what I'm saying? But when, pe when people hear John Gabbana, I want them to see and understand and feel where he come from. You know what I'm saying? Because I, 
people just don't understand. Yeah, definitely. And now, I'm, do you regret anything? Uh, I don't regret nothing. Everything happened for a reason. You know what I'm saying? Shit. <laughs> I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say I want to get shot again, but if it happens, you know what I'm saying. If it happens again, I get shot. You know what I'm saying. But because I feel like that happening, it slowed me down. I feel like I'm back to the normal me. You know what I'm saying. I know how to control everything better. Like my head was in the clouds. I say about probably like four months ago, my head was all stuck in the clouds. You know what I'm saying. My head on the swivel now. I'm more alert on everything. Mm -hmm. you know, that's where I want to be. Now, what kind of advice would you have to these people? Uh, maybe based off of your journey, would you want them to maybe look at you as, as an example or? I need everybody to get it how they get it. Everybody doubted me. I've been doubted so much in life. My own mama say, I'm like, it's not possible. I'm not going to do it. You're going to be just like your daddy. You know what I'm saying? Home from home. You're going to be in the streets. And I ain't have no friends, no family, no nothing. I was stuck. You know what I'm saying? I've been doubted my whole fucking life. Nobody ever believed in me. You know what I'm saying? And shit, a couple months ago, people probably still talk down on my motherfucking name. But I don't look at none of that. I don't see none of that. I don't see nobody. You know what I'm saying? Because I know where I want to be at in life, and I know what I can do. And you know, you know shit, I see the motherfucking top. Shit, I, I see past that, and I'm going to get it. Mm. And I know it. You say you know, you, you know where you want to be. Where is that? Where is it that you want to be? I want to be on top. That's where I want to be. I want. It's not, and I don't want to be on top just to pass somebody else and be like, oh, I'm doing better than you, aha. No, I want to get there so everybody who's at the bottom can see that it's possible for somebody from the bottom low there can get up there to the mm. top. He was real today. He's one of the real ones. Make some noise for this guy one time. Hello, how you doing? First of all, I got to ask you, can you give us a nice good filet? Dang. You can't give us a filet? Dang, I just got on the stage, baby. <laughs> Just got it. Um, All right, we'll get it at the end. No, I got, I got you. Filet. <laughs> Come off that screen, cross. Oh my God, ain't Scoop. nothing cross. Excuse me, yeah. drop cross. Oh my Dime. God, dime leg. Oh man, can I get this one too? Ain't nothing over there. Knock down. <laughs> One, two, ain't nothing, no, oh, one triple, oh, chill, ha, <laughs> ha, front down, twin cross, curb behind the back, oh, my God, come here, oh, oh. Talk to us about the nickname Filet, where did that name come from? So back at home, a lot of people say Lay, you know, Filet Mignon, they just say the whole word, so it's like my pops was a professional chef in the kitchen, you know, he was cooking, so when I got better at basketball, I kind of like, I need something to go on the court, you know, off the court, like cooking. So the filet mignon kind of came apart because it's like everybody say yo filet mignon. So I ain't want to be like everybody else. So I just took out the mignon part and carried the filet. So it's like it's simple, but it's just like instead of saying filet mignon, like nobody want to do that. Ain't nobody want to. So like, it's too many nobody, syllables. Yeah, you know it's what I'm too saying? much. So you got to do regular filet. So that's how it came about. That seems like the common theme. Every person up here has wanted to shorten their name. Nah, for real, because it's like you can't. Who gonna say that? Yo, that's filet mignon right there. <laughs> so in a nutshell, you kind of do voiceovers over basketball highlights, but you sing them. Do you remember the moment that you felt you popped? I think it was the Briscoe video. Okay. Isaiah Briscoe, he went to Kentucky. He dropped one of my friends in the gym when I did the video. And it was kind of like a preacher kind of tone. So everybody was liking it. So it just kind of blew up. And I knew from there, like, it was, I, I got a little, had something going on. How many takes does it normally take you? One time. Oh, you one take guy? Yeah, now, but before, now I was behind it like. Duh, duh. Word. Now you do, mul there's like always multiple audio tracks, right? Because like, you'll be talking and then underneath that, yeah. it'll be like crowd noise. I, it took me a while for that. Like, it took me like a, look, a good are year. You, are you like sitting on a computer editing this shit? All of that is done on your phone. This right here, it's crazy. That's your money maker, right money there. Money maker, right there. No computer, no nothing. One straight, app, straight off the phone. Four years straight, one app. That's lit, man. Getting it. Good for you. All right, so let's talk about hooping for a second. Obviously, you play. You post videos of you playing all the time. Um, you've tried to make the NBA G League. Unfortunately, that didn't work out, but maybe it will. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like that journey was tougher for you? because it was so public, because people kind of watched you through the journey. Very, because at the end of the day, people, when, you, when you're when you big on Instagram for, you know, for funny videos and stuff like that, people kind of categorize you as a comedian. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of tough to take away that, you know, and separate it, because at the end of the day, it's like, 
oh, are you serious? Like, which, which one are you going to be? Are you going to be a comedian or are you going to be you know, a basketball player? It's like, with me, it's like the impossible. It's like I'm doing all three things. I'm singing, dancing, and playing basketball. So at the end of the day, is I'm just chasing my dream and just being me. What would be your advice to anyone out here who wants to make content and wants to make money making videos? Like, I feel like people on Instagram, like, people make videos and they don't be real. They don't be them. Like, people just don't go viral because they be like, all right, I want to do a video. I'm going to do it. It's going to go viral. Like, it accidentally happens. Like, it just doesn't, like, happen. Like, you plan on it. So, like, when you do stuff, do it because you have a niche. Like, you have a love for what you do. Bird, filet. I appreciate your time, dog. Appreciate it. Oh, oh, oh. Dude, bro, nice. Good, bro. How you doing? Good to see you. What's up, bro? I got you some food. You hungry? Oh, nah, he good. He good. He being bougie. Oh, oh man, look at the llamas pulling up on us, man. Look at hello, me, Jill! Jill! Oh, bro, this freaking llama scared the shit out of me. Bro, relax. Relax, I'm gonna feed you. Oh, oh he's about to spit on me. <laughs> chill, chill, bro, chill, chill. I got food for you, I got food for you, bro. Don't bully me, please. Oh my God, he started making noises. Cold Game Kelv, Brother Nature. Kelvin, what is the name that you want to be called right now, though? I like Brother Nature. Brother Nature? Yes, sir. Did you imagine that this would ever happen? Nah, <laughs> never. <laughs> Talk to us about the origin of the name Cold Game Kelv. What does that mean, Cold Game Kelv? Yeah, so Cold Game is like a brand that my brother started. My brother, he's an artist, and he's always had a vision for us, like, as a family to, like, pop off or something. Like, Cold Game is like a brand overall. Like, he's an artist, he makes music, but he also always wanted to make clothes and always just had a bigger vision for us. The summer that I went viral, I had changed my name to Cold Game Kelv on Twitter because I was like, shoot, I'm brother, I'm Cold Game, you know, I'm like, I'm gang, I don't know what I do, but <laughs> I'm, I'm with him, you know? All right, so when I'm trying to explain what you do, I always get lost, so I'll let you do it. How do you explain what you do? Basically, like, two summers ago, I had just moved from, to Pennsylvania from Texas, and I moved to Pennsylvania to start college, and a month of living there, I gained this dear's trust, I made a video. <laughs> I gave him a name, I named him Money, and pow, I put it on my Instagram, right? And I didn't think nothing of it. You know, it was me just being myself casual, and I see a whole bunch of girls back from Texas putting laughing emojis under my videos, and I'm like, hold up, <laughs> I'm up to something, you know? <laughs> I, I, was like, I was like, I got something, so I put it on my Twitter, and I got like 700 retweets in a day, and I run down to my dad, excited, I'm like, yo, dad, I'm viral, you know? 700 retweets, like, right. Mike, you live. Yeah. <laughs> And then I see a doe, the female, in front of my cousin house. And for some reason, like, in my head, I was like, yo, she looks like a canela. So I named her canela, like, didn't even think about it. What does canela mean? It means cinnamon in Spanish. Cinnamon, okay. Yeah. Bow. I make another video, and you know, I'm, bro, I'm, I'm fresh out of Texas, fresh out of high school. Like, I'm still, like, so hood with it. You know, I'm cussing in every video. Bow, I'm like, yo, look, just saw y'all, like, shitting on y'all. Bow, I got another deer, you know? Like, I'm, I just, like... Named myself a deer whisperer, like high key, you know? <laughs> and bow, put that on my Twitter. And then I'm starting to hit like the thousands, you know? Mm -hmm. And then the next day, it was like out of a movie. It was like, I wake up out of bed, the sun is shining in my face, I'm like, what the hell, you know? I feel good. I look outside the window, and there's a family of deer walking across the street. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, yo, a whole family. But there was no, 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 no dad in sight. I said, that's Money's family. He spread the message. <laughs> Yo, I run downstairs. I grab strawberries, something healthy for them. You know, at first I was feeding them snacks, like just snacks that we had in the what house. What kind of snacks? Like Twinkies and shit? Like, no, we had powdered donuts, crackers, <laughs> Pringles, Fruity Pebbles, and they loved it. You know, I think were that's your, why I gained distrust. Were your parents upset about you just Yo, emptying out the whole kitchen? My for stepmom these kids? was tight, like, those are your little brother's snacks. <laughs> <laughs> and you was just giving it away. I'm like, I'm viral. <laughs> like, relax. Fuck it. <laughs> it's gonna pay off. <laughs> just wait. <laughs> what does she say now when she sees you now? Yo, she still be tripping, so I just, yo, I'm like, what? Still like, to this day? Yo, I'm paying the bills, like, relax. <laughs> like, what the hell? Anyways, I was working at Polo. And this is when I realized that, like, yo, something was going on. Like, people were just taking pictures of me, like, behind the counter. Like, not even walking up to me, like, just taking pictures of me, like, hiding. And I was like, oh, that's weird. I quit, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and that was it, just like that. Yeah, I quit. <laughs> Give it up for this guy, Cold Game Kel, Thank everybody. You. Brother Nature. This nigga is good, bro. How you, bro? Good to see you. Nice to meet you, bro. Niggas be like, oh, you clown ass nigga. Niggas be like, how? How? How I'm a clown? How I'm a clown? How I'm a clown? Tell me, how I'm a clown? Tell me, please. I would like to know, how I'm a clown? Fuck, how I'm a clown? 
man. Let's poll the room real quick. Who sweatsuit is better? Make some noise for me. Make some noise for Shiggy. Damn. Thank you, yeah. They like your sweatsuit better than mine. I think it was this side mostly, though. Shout out to this side, then. Yeah. Shiggy, what's up, man? How you? I'm doing very, very well. I'm doing good, yeah. Who is Shiggy? Shiggy is just a, a fun guy, basically, who likes to have fun and is not afraid to put his emotions out there. Where did the name Shiggy come from? We have a friend named Jiggy. <laughs> yes. And it was a joke going on. Shout uh, out my dog Josh one time. Um, his name is Jiggy, so and my name is Shaquille, so I just put the SH of my name and put it on Jiggy. Just, we was going to write each other Shiggy and Jiggy. It's not too crazy story, but that's how we got Shiggy out of there, yeah. How do you describe what you do? I guess I put myself as a social media Influencer, a comedian, that's how I say that, yeah. Sure, but you don't want to pigeonhole yourself, right? You have dreams to do things beyond that. What else are yeah, some of those things that you actress. want to do? You want to be an actress? Yeah. Not an actor. It's, it's, it's no difference. It's oh, there's a it. big difference. An actor is for men, actress is generally uh, women. But look, let me tell you something quick. Let's go. If a female could be a female actor, can it be a male actress? That's the double standards I'm talking about, man. This guy is nuts. It's no different. But now let's talk about, you've been making videos for a while, obviously. I feel like things went to a whole nother level after the In My Feelings Challenge. Let's talk about pre oh, versus post. Oh, do the shiggy. Oh, it's called do the shiggy. Slash. <laughs> Copy. Yeah. We'll call it do the shiggy. So you were making videos way before that, yeah, right? Yeah, what yeah. would you say was the biggest moment before the In My Feelings Challenge? Before In My Feelings, I had a lot of dope videos that I did. Recently before that, I was doing, um, Stephen A. Smith impersonations. Right, right. It's so crazy, like when you do like impersonations, and a lot of people love it. But when the person who you actually impersonate and actually loves it, it takes it to a whole nother level. It took like the respect to where we could actually make money because people don't know how to value this. Because even like I don't know how to value this. You know what I'm saying sometimes I go and I talk to people and I say, yeah, I got paid to do this. And it's like, damn, that's much. And you know you could get so much more because it's hard to value this because you never know what video. It's gonna go viral. I ain't gonna lie, it's no real secret to it. Sometimes you just get lucky, sometimes you got a dope video that doesn't go anywhere. Definitely. Let's talk about the Drake situation. Yeah. How has your life changed? Have your numbers gone up? Have the amount of people that recognize you on the street go up? It took me so long to get a million followers. And after that, I got another million followers under two months with Whoa. the whole Drake situation. Just like so, that. Yeah, just like that. So I had to do a video at um, the SBs mm -hmm. when I um, kind of sort of. Like, curved, curved, um, Russell, curved Wilson, Russell Wilson, Wilson took a picture of Ciara. So that was like, that when I look at it, like, you know, sometimes you post videos and it doesn't really make you laugh. Mm -hmm. That video right there, no, I'm talking about please rap. Man, so listen, <laughs> <laughs> listen, that video right there made me laugh out loud, like legit laugh out loud. You were proud of yourself. Yeah, for I was one. proud of that moment, yeah. Cause that was like a brave moment. Cause I never do videos like that where I'm like pranking. Cause you never know how other people react. Right, right, right. I don't got time to get roughed up, I know. Muscular football guy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I feel that. All right, make some noise for this guy, Shiggy. Yeah!